Hi guys. Okay, so as you might have seen on my community page, I did resurface my table because it was driving me bonkers how gross it looked. Um, so I just, I got some of the like vinyl cling sort of stuff and an edging to make sure that it didn't keep coming up. And it took me probably about five minutes to do. Not long at all. The The thing that took the long time was clearing my whole desk off. <laughs> okay, so I'm on here today to show you my project for hashtag alphabet challenge 2024. And this time's prompt was M4 napkins. So this challenge um, is uh, hosted by Hillary over at Pink Bubble Cards. And um, and every two weeks, Hillary will pick out a letter and that letter will have a uh, corresponding word prompt with it. Um, it's an open collaboration, so anyone can join in. Okay, so M for napkins, and I was racking my brain for this, and then I looked on my wall, and I have big, puffy uh, tissue paper flowers that Leslie uh, gifted to me in the Halloween box that she gave, or well, Halloween gift basket that she gave to me when I went to visit her. And so I thought I'd have a go at that. This is my first attempt. And I don't think it turned out too badly, if I'm honest. It's all right. And I thought I'd have a go a second time with you guys. So you can see what the heck am I did. I'm just going to get some twine, some scissors and some napkins. So, what I did, I want this one at the bottom, I think. So, I um, did my napkins like that, and then I peeled them apart. move that one a bit further out. And then the next colour, and you could always do these in block colours, but I thought they'd look kind of cute in like summery. summary pattern because let's face it we're not going for hyper realistic here <laughs> might even cut it a bit smaller this time and see whether we can do a smaller flower. Maybe that would work out better. Maybe I just I did it too big. Once we've got them all stacked, I'm just going to concertina them, like, um, fan fold them. Do, do, 
Bunny, bunny. Uh, I know. Come back here. Yeah, I wonder whether it would work with. Let's try it together. Let's try it together. So I'm going to cut it in half and see if we can make two smaller flowers. Ah. Of course, I do have the issue now of not being able to let either of them go. So I'm just going to tie my twine. the middle and this one a little bit annoyed because um, I didn't press record. I went to answer the door, I came back, I finished the craft and I did not press record. So, so anyway, this is how the little ones turned out. This is how the little ones turned out. I absolutely love them. I think that they look really beautiful, really full, and makes my giant one look like trash. So I think if you wanted to do a bigger one, all you'd need to do is like have more napkin layers. So shall we try? The bigger one again. Have I got enough napkins that I can find? Right, because you see, I've got lots of napkins, and I, I just don't know where I've put my napkin box. Um, so I am currently relying on the beautiful napkins that people have gifted to me because I have my gift box like um, right there and I know where it is. So... Right. You know this bit. Oh, poop. Didn't know that bit. Right, I want that as the top layer. Mm. 
going to have a bit of a giraffe print at the bottom, I think. So I've just unpicked my bigger one so we can try and make her a bit fuller. That's a job. Now, moment of truth, moment of truth. Okay, so we wanna bring these out. And then we are going to firmly, but also gently, just each layer up Well, this is certainly looking a lot fuller.
Ah, that's much better. So it just needed more layers. That is it. That's all. That's all it needed. More layers. So there you have it. There's the big one. And the two little ones that I did, I thought I did on camera, but apparently didn't press play. And um, all out of napkins. Um, so it is a good way to make some cute and pretty um, summery decorations for your garden or your home if you're having a little summery party. Uh, out of napkins. I'm not sure how great of a uh, tutorial this was because I have no idea what I filmed and what I didn't. Um, <laughs> but a huge thank you to Hillary over at Pink Bubble Cards for hosting this fun open collaboration and a huge thank you to you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Take care guys, love ya. Bye.